Federal agents raid the home of Sean Diddy Combs. Both homes will tell you what they were looking for and what this could mean for the music mogul's career. And a new focus on conversations about cancer after Princess Kate revealing her diagnosis, how to have tough talks with kids whose parents may be going through the same thing. And one North Carolina man's hobby brings him joy, how he's turned it into a huge collection that puts sweet smiles on the faces of kids and adults. And a weather-wise alert for today, we have widespread rain moving into the region. I'll be breaking down when you can expect it in your neighborhood in your weather-wise alert. Hey there, good morning. It is Tuesday, March 26th. I'm Laura McDonald alongside Dear Nisa Jefferson, Rachel Maurer, and Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden. And wet weather is on the way. We do have mm -hmm. some breaking news to get to, too. First, mm -hmm. though, Nicole, we do want to check in with you. Um, what's going on? How soon are we going to need the umbrellas? Oh, we're going to need it to heading back home from work later today. So we will see that rain move in by this afternoon. We're seeing showers uh, move through Middle Tennessee this morning with a line of thunderstorms south dragging through Mississippi or through Alabama and nearing the Georgia border. Locally, we got clouds skies temperatures a little bit warmer this morning sitting in the mid to upper 40s even low 50s across the region we're at 51 degrees in gastonia 51 for you in rock hill 49 in statesville 41 in boone for your forecast today expect those clouds to continue to fill in with rain chances going up through the afternoon i'll be breaking down when you can expect the wet weather in your full weatherwise forecast in just a couple minutes <music> Nicole, thank you. We start with breaking news this morning. Emergency crews in Baltimore are searching for at least seven people in the Patapsco River after multiple vehicles fell into the water following the collapse of a major bridge. It happened early this morning just after 1.30. Officials say the bridge collapsed after it was struck by a large ship. Here is video showing moments before that bridge collapsed. It's unclear if anyone was injured. Baltimore's mayor Brandon Scott posted to X saying, quote, I'm aware of and en route to the incident at the key bridge. We will, of course, continue to follow this throughout the morning and bring you the latest information as it comes into the newsroom. Another alarming discovery at UNC Charlotte, a third gun has been found on campus in the last 10 days. Students say the news is unsettling, especially with this happening less than two months after an active shooter scare. WCCB Charlotte's Gary Broad has the latest. It just makes community is grieving after four people were killed in a crash Friday night. A mother and her two young daughters are among the victims. WCCB Charlotte's Emma Mondo has the story. Pathology and toxicology results are still pending. Mallard Creek Road, be careful in that area if it's part of your morning commute. Be sure to watch your speed. Let's look at traffic. Trust your home to Anderson Heating and Cooling. Now back to you. Coming up on Rising, music mogul Diddy is in some hot water again. Why his Los Angeles and Miami homes were both raided by Homeland Security. And one North Carolina man has an impressive collection still ahead here on Rising, the hobby he started decades ago and how it's bringing joy to children and adults. Much taking a look at the roads right now. We do have an early accident on Ridge Road at Mallard Creek Road. Be careful in that area if it's part of your morning commute. Be sure to watch your speed. That's a look at traffic. 522, welcome back to Rising. More than 2 million new cancer cases will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year, according to projections by the American Cancer Society. Research shows certain cancers are being found more often in younger adults, and while talking to children about a cancer diagnosis is difficult, experts say it's important. Mandy Gaither has more on how to have those tough conversations. After revealing her Mandy Gaither. Such a tough conversation to have, mm -hmm. um, you know, among adults and then yeah. you bring kids into it. I can imagine it's difficult for the adults and the kids to understand, but having that transparency, I think is really important. Yeah, I think we've talked about it a couple of times on the show that my dad beat cancer three times, yep. two of which I was a child for. At first I was one year old and then I was like 10. Mm -hmm. um, and I always, I guess when I was 10 and then when I was 26, mm -hmm. I wanted to know what's the plan. Right. I remember just being like, okay, what do we do next? Right. So I think that's important. And they mentioned that in the story, mm -hmm. like kids just want to know that there is a plan. Yeah. And yeah. you remember those conversations that you had? Yeah. As a child, obviously not a one-year-old, but right. <laughs> a 10-year-old I do. I very yeah. much remember it. Um, so it's important to just be honest with mm -hmm. kids. I think they know. Smarter than you, you yeah. might think, right? You know more than you realize, especially medically. They're like, okay, I can understand this, and, and as long as we have a solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so glad uh, your dad came out on top. Yes. yes. And I think she'll be great, too. Yes. Okay, your time right now is 5 at 25. Hey, it's a sweet collection, 30 years in the making. Coming up here on Rising, meet the North Carolina native who is showcasing his love through a massive display of a popular trinket.
Two. Good morning. Time now is 528. Thanks for waking up with us on Tuesday, March 26. I'm Rachel Maurer here, in, here with Lauren McDonald. We're going to get right to our top stories this morning. Yeah, that's right. We want to start with breaking news this morning. Emergency crews in Baltimore are searching for at least seven people in the Patapsco River after multiple vehicles fell into the water following the collapse of a major bridge. You're taking a live look right now at that. This morning, just after 1.30 is when it happened. Officials say the bridge collapsed after it was struck by a large ship. Here's video showing the moments before that bridge collapsed. Baltimore's Mayor Brandon Scott posted to X just before we came on the air this morning saying, quote, I'm aware of and en route to the incident at the Key Bridge. We will, of course, continue to follow this story throughout the morning and bring you the latest on this terrible situation as it gets into our newsroom. There's more turbulence in America's aviation industry this morning. Boeing CEO says he's out, announcing he will leave the company by the year's end. The news comes as the Federal Avi Aviation Administration says it's increasing its presence in United Airlines operations. WCCB Charlotte's Laura Aguirre has more. I'm Laura Aguirre for WCCB News. 531 right now, a total of seven suspects have been arrested and are now charged with committing a terrorist attack following the deadly Moscow concert hall attack. Now, ISIS, also known as the Islamic State Group, has claimed responsibility for that attack. Each of the first four people arrested had visible injuries as they went before a judge Sunday. The death toll from Friday's attack now stands at 139 people. Crews are searching through debris from the fire, which the gunmen are accused of setting. Robots and dogs are also being used in the search. The Colleton County Clerk of Court is resigning from her position effective immediately. Becky Hill made the announcement Monday. Attorneys accused Hill of jury tampering in the 2023 Alec Murdoch murder trial. A jury convicted the disgraced former lawyer in the deaths of his wife and son. He is also the focus of a sled investigation. The agency is looking into if Hill used her position for personal gain. In his decision not to grant Murdoch a new trial, the judge said Hill's comments did not influence the jury's guilty verdict. Zoning has been approved for Charlotte's first Whataburger location. City zoning approved plans for a Whataburger on Albemarle Road. The plans were approved Friday and were originally filed back in August. Now this is the second time developers proposed those plans. Whataburger is a Texas based company and first opened in 1950. There are currently over 700 locations in Texas and nearly 300 locations across the U.S. According to the zoning records, the project is now in the construction phase, but no completion date has been announced. Nearly $2 billion is up for grabs this week as the Powerball and Mega Millions jackpots continue to climb. Monday night's Powerball jackpot was up to $800 million after nobody won Saturday night's drawing. Tonight's Mega Millions drawing is worth an estimated $1.1 billion. Here's what some viewers told us they would do with all that cash if they win. I would never buy. Very generous. So nice. I love it. <laughs> this is the first time the prize for both games have become this much at the same time. Wow, how exciting. Lauren, while you were out, I was talking to Dernisa about mm -hmm. like we have got to go out and buy a ticket. At that point, I think we were at like 600 million, okay. which I still would have happily accepted. Sure. But the, it's gone up so much since then. That was the Mega Millions. And um, so I did win. Four dollars. That's great. I was going to say, Ra Rachel, you talk about six hundred million. I'd take six dollars. Exactly. I'd take six cents. Uh, right? I think I won exactly the amount that I spent on the ticket. Well, hey, that's good. It's yeah. a, you know, you I didn't lose even. anything. It's so true. Yeah, I actually right. did some sports betting, and oh. um, yeah, on the golf back when the Players Championship was a couple okay. weeks ago, and I won sixty-five dollars. Oh, wow, yeah. you know enough about golf. Well, I can see that. Yeah, I, that I makes did. Sense. I was proud. Anyway. Yeah. Good luck to you out there. <laughs> Quite the collection. I know, yeah. So impressive. He said people walk in and say, wow. We all here on the couch said, wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Um, it's impressive. For you, Dernisa, would that make you nervous to have that much stuff? No. Um, I don't like clutter. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. very minimalist. Yeah. Like, I like everything neat and clean. I think it's cool that he has that. For sure. me personally, I can't have that much stuff yes. in the house. Yes. Nice yeah. to go look. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to look at. It's cool. Yeah, it's like not a visit the antique store. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah we. I actually asked Joe this morning, Joe Duncan, because he's from Statesville, and okay. this is in Newton. I guess it's about 20 or 30 minutes away from Statesville. Yeah. Uh -huh. If he was familiar with the collection, he said no. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he said, I know where he works, but I don't know him. So. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. If Joe can go for a visit. I was going to say, maybe we'll have to send him down. Send him out. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. back. Here, Nisa, thank you. <laughs> Your time right now is 541. The Lady Ballers will end Women's History Month on a high note. They're hooping like never before. WCCB could Contributor Charity Bailey has your play of the day right after this break.
550. Welcome back to Rising. After several attempts, one North Carolina family found themselves calling in the big guns to help find a lost wedding ring. The Cape Fear Explorers, a group dedicated to uncovering historical artifacts, was contacted by a woman's family after she was unable to find her lost wedding ring while on the beach. One of the members met with the family at the beach and was able to find the ring with his metal detector in just a few hours. Jack Cooker is the man who saved the day, says these types of recoveries are historic in themselves and is sure to be a lasting memory for that family. Oh, it's a this good is thing awesome. they found it, right? Yeah, I, it's wonderful. Yeah, I've shared this before. My mom actually lost yeah. her wedding ring while flying on an airplane. Her fingers were swelling and she took uh -huh. it off. And uh, yeah, nobody ever found it. Nobody ever found it and turned well, it in. Such a bummer. Yeah, I'm sure somebody I did find know. it. Yeah, uh, the lucky person. I'm not sure who, but. Ugh. Yeah, well, this anyway. is a great that the woman found it. I mean, yes. such sentimental value, even more than the fact that they're so expensive. Sure. It's just, you're probably so attached and to it. And it was actually my grandmother's ring. Oh. Yeah, oh, I, I know. Didn't know that part I know, of it. it's, it's bad. It's so sad. Yeah, yeah, it took well, a long time for them to get into that one. Hope you don't sleep at night, whoever you are. <laughs> Oh. I'm just glad I didn't lose it. Yeah, right. uh, it is 5:53 right now. We do want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden for a look at the weatherwise forecast. I mean, hey, it makes for a good story. You're right? just being honest, right? Yeah, yeah. Better your mom than you. Uh, we do. Thank you so much, Nicole. Still ahead on Rising at six. Nike is making some cutbacks. The new mission the company is pushing for their shoe brand. And if you plan to take photos of the eclipse, Rachel, this one's for you. Oh. <laughs> Do it like a pro. Jamie Tucker has tips on the best telescopes to catch the view.